Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on matrix computation and its application. So, in the previous lecture we have just started that how we can write a matrix corresponding to the linear transformation. Now, we will continue with that one. So, in the previous lecture we have discussed that suppose we have a linear transformation T from a vector space u to a vector space v. Here we are talking about finite dimensional vector spaces. Then based on this uh, linear transformation where T is a linear transformation, then suppose I have a some basis. So, suppose we have some basis that I take B 1 is the basis of containing the n element. So, this is a basis of u. and I take the another set B 2 <coughs> that is I take V 1, V 2 up to V m. So, this is a basis of V and I am taking that the dimension of u is n and the dimension of V is m. <coughs> now, based on this basis I know that my linear transformation T can be obtained by taking the image at u 1 and this can be written as alpha 1 1 v 1 plus alpha 2 1 v 2 and alpha m 1 v m. So, like this one we have written. So, this way we know that we can have alpha n 1 v 1 plus alpha n 2 v 2 so the column is nth column so it will be 1 n v 1 plus alpha 2 n v 2 alpha m n v m and based on this one we get the matrix A. So, this matrix is basically made up of the coordinates of the vector T u 1. So, it is it will be like this one alpha 1 2 alpha 2 1 alpha 3 1 up to alpha m 1 alpha 1 2 alpha 1 n alpha 2 n and alpha m 2 and this will be alpha m n. Now, if you see from here then I can write my matrix A as. So, if you see then this is the coordinates. So, I can write from here that these are the coordinate vector for T of u 1 because I am writing the T of u 1 with respect to the basis b 2. So, from here I know that the first column will be T of u 1 with respect to the basis b 2. Next column is again it is the coordinates of T u 2 with respect to the basis b 2 and in the end you can write that this is my u n image u n under the basis b 2. So, that will be my matrix A. So, this way we can write. Now, so from here now I will see that how we can write the matrix A corresponding to the linear transformation. So, before that one I will want to discuss little bit more about coordinate systems. 
So, I can write from here that how, what do you mean by coordinates of a vector with, with respect to a basis. So, this one we want to discuss that what is the meaning of this. Now, now suppose I just take two dimensional it is I just take R 2 that is my V 2 and I know that its standard basis this is E 1. So, that is 1 0 and E 2 that is 0 1. Now, if I take the coordinate system because this is my R 2 and suppose it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 like this one we can go and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like this one. Now, if you see from here, I take the, the base E 1. So, E 1 is this base which is moving towards in the direction of x axis because this is my x axis and this is my y axis and E 2 is going a unit vector in this direction. So, this is my E 1 and this is my E 2. Now, suppose I have a vector. So, I choose a vector. I take a vector maybe I will take I just take maybe 6 and 3. So, I take this vector. Now, from here this vector I can take. Now, I can represent this vector here. So, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 3. So, it is 1, 2, 3. So, this is my vector. I can draw from here and this is my vector. I can call it u and it is given by 6, 3 where we are going 6 in E 1 direction and 3 in the E 2 direction. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 1, 2, 3. So, this is my vector I am able to represent in my standard basis. So, these are called the standard basis or the physical basis because this uh, if I ask you the vector 6, 3 then you will definitely will know this that it is going 6 times in the x direction and 3 times in the y direction then we are able to find this vector 6 3. So, this is a vector we are writing in standard coordinates. Now, after doing this one now suppose I change the basis. So, let we take another basis. So, this I just take the another basis B may be B 1. So, I take uh, it like same 1 0 the same basis I am taking, but here I am taking 1 1. So, I am taking the basis and this basis are linearly independent they span the whole space. So, it is the basis of R 2. Now, if you see from here my B 1 is again the same as E 1. So, this is my I can call it basis u 1 and this is u 2. So, here you can see that e 1 is equal to u 1 no problem, but if you take the u 2. So, u 2 is going one direction in the x direction and one in the y direction. So, this is my u 2. So, now it is my u 2. Now, suppose I take the same vector 6 3. So, I want to write. So, 
I want to write the u that is my 6 3 with respect to the basis b 1. So, this one how we can write this one? So, this one I want to write. So, suppose this is equal to a b. It means that if I take a the first basis 1 0, b the second basis 1 1 and if I take the linear combination then I should be able to get 6 3 this one. Now, from here you can see from here then I can write from here that my a plus b will be 6 and b will be 3. So, now from both these I can get that my a will be 3 and b will be 3. Now, from here I can write that the coordinates. So, I can write from here the coordinates of of the vector u that is 6 3 with respect to to basis b 1 is. So, from here I can write that u is the same vector. Now, I am writing its coordinate with respect to the basis b 1 and that is coming 3 3. So, I have the same vector u. Now, you can see from here that what I am going to do. So, this is my u 2, then I will go little bit here, it is my 2 u 2, then I go it is my 3 u 2, then I go it is 4 u 2 like this one. Now, what I am going I am taking a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 3. It means now I am going, maybe I will use this one. So, I am going 1 in the direction 2, 3. So, 3 I have taken a is equal to 3. So, I am going a uh, 3 times in my u 1 direction and then 3 times in my u 2 direction. So, u 2 direction is this one. So, I will go like this one. So, this is 1 u 2. 2 u 2 and 3 u 2. So, I am going till here my 3 times u 1 and then taking the direction of u 2 and this is also 3 times in u 2 direction and I will reaching the same point. So, from here you can uh, see from this diagram that the coordinate the vector this point is same whatever the point we have taken 6 3 that was point in the physical domain and it was related to the basis uh, that is the standard basis. Now, I am changing the representation of this vector with respect to the basis. So, what I am going to do is that I will write this vector as a linear combination of the given basis and based on that when I will find out the coordinates and that will be the coordinates of this vector related to the new basis b 1. So, that is why we all also called this as a coordinates because it is the same the it is also the coordinate of the vector u, but we have changed the basis. So, now from here you can see that this expression I can write like this one. So, I take the matrix made up of vectors this first basis 1 1 this is a second basis and then I write the coordinates of the vector with respect to this matrix and this is right hand side vector which we are wanted to write in terms of the basis. So, this is the matrix you can call it the basis matrix B and this is the coordinates of the vector 6 3 that we are going to write with respect to the basis b 2 and this is my vector whose coordinates are given to us in the standard form. So, this way we are able to write this one.
Now from here, now you know that this matrix B, B is always invertible because it is made up of this basis vectors. So, I, I can write from here. So, from here I can write my u vector coordinates of this u vector with respect to the basis b 1 uh, not b 2 it is b 1 b 1. So, with respect to b 1. So, that will be equal to I can write directly by taking the b inverse and then the vector u. So, this way we can write directly the coordinates of one vector in terms of the basis b 1 when the coordinate of that vector is given to us in other basis form. So, this is the way we are able to write and b is also called change of basis matrix and it is always made up of basis. So, that is why it is invertible here and we are able to write this. So, from here we can see that we are taking the same vector, but changing in this one. Now, I can maybe I can change another vector. Somebody can take the another basis B 2. Maybe I can take 1 1 and 1 minus 1. So, this basis I can take. Now, from here based on this one, I will write my matrix 1 1 1 minus 1, then A B and I will take the same vector again 6 3. So, this vector I am taking 6 3. Now, from here A plus B is 6 and A minus B is 3. Now, based on this one you can write that my A plus B. So, it is 2 A will be 9, A will be 9 by 2. And if you put A is equal to 9 by 2, my B will be. So, I can take from A minus 3 that is 9 by 2 minus 3. So, it is 3 by 2. So, now from here I get my B. Now, the same uh, coordinate system. Now, I represent my vectors in, now in this case. So, let me take uh, some other green color and now I am representing the basis 1 1 and 1 minus 1. So, 1 1 is again this one. So, I can take as this my next base. So, maybe I will represent this one as uh, f 1 and this is my base f 2. So, I am going this way. So, it is my f 1 and f 2 is 1 minus 1. So, I am going 1 minus 1. So, that will be this one. So, it is my f 2. Now, if I want to go, I want to reach this place. So, what, what we are going to get here? So, now from here I can write that the coordinate of the vector 6 3. So, this is my vector with respect to the basis is A is coming 9 by 2 and B is coming 3 by 2. So, I can go uh, 4.5 times. So, I will go here you just check I will go 4.5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 and maybe this 4.5 and then I will go in this direction half one and a half time. So, I will go one time this way and then another half is this one like this one. So, I will reach here on this point. So, this is just uh, we are writing here. So, now, from here you can see that the same point 6 3 now can be represented with the new coordinates that is 9 by 2 and 3 by 2. 
it is yeah so it is 9 by 2 and 3 by 2 of the same coordinate with respect to the basis b2 so this way we can have a infinite number of bases we know that and then we can represent the same point with the different different bases and having so we can have the different different coordinates of the same point so this way we are able to have the relation between the coordinate of a vector with respect to uh, different basis so i will use this one things when we write the uh, linear transformation in some other basis so let's do one example so i take one example i have a linear transformation t that is given to me from v3 to v3 and it is defined by x1 x2 x3 is equal to x1 minus x2 plus x3 2x1 plus 3x2 minus x3 by 2 and then x1 plus x2 minus 2x3. So, this linear transformation is given to us. Now, I want to write the matrix corresponding matrix. So, we want to write this. So, now what I will do? I will write this t as x1, x2, x3 and from here I will take my x1 common. So, if I take the x1 common it is 1, 2, 1. So, this vector I can write plus I take the x2 common. So, x2 is from minus 1 here then 3 here and 1 here plus x3 it is 1 minus half minus 2. Now, from this one I can write directly from here. Now, we are writing so from this one first case 1 writing the matrix corresponding to standard basis. So, this is uh, we are writing with the standard basis. So, standard basis I know as I take. So, it is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1. So, this is I am writing here. Now, from here you can see that this form I can write I will take the matrix. Now, I will take the first column. So, this is now because this is the image vector and image vector we are writing in this form. So, I will write 1 2 1 minus 1 3 1 1 minus half and minus 2. Then I can take the vector x 1 x 2 x 3. So, this is my t of x 1 x 2 x 3. So, from here you can see that this t is represented by this matrix I call it this matrix as a matrix A. Now, you can see from here that this matrix A is corresponding to standard basis. So, this way is we can write the matrix. Now, everything is ok. We are able to write this matrix with the with respect to the standard basis. Now, if you uh, do the calculation you will see that you will get the same terminology here. Now, I will take case 2. Now, we change the basis. So, let us take another basis. So, I will choose this time the basis 
B 1, we are writing it as <coughs> standard basis E 1, E 2, E 3 and I take the basis B 2 as 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and minus 1, 0, 1. So, this is the basis I am taking. Now, you have changed the basis. So, B 1 basis I am taking for V 3 because this linear transformation is from V 3 to V 3. So, basically I am taking this B 1 for V 3 and this B 2 is the image set that is also V 3. So, we are taking this basis. Now, we want to write. So, the question is that we want to write its transformation or its matrices, its matrix corresponding to the linear transformation t. Now, what I am going to do is now, so this is the linear transformation already given to us. So, I call it the 1. So, now we know that the transformation is uniquely determined by the value or its basis. So, what we are going to do now is, I will take the image of E 1 that is T of 1 0 0. Now, it is uh, I am going to take 1 0 0. So, I know that this is going to give me the first vector that is 1 2 1 because if I put x 1 only 1 here. So, everything will be 0. So, 1 2 1 and now I want to write this one with respect to the basis B 2. So, I want to find out the coordinate of this vector. So, I just write this as alpha 1 1 1 1 0 plus alpha 2 1 1 2 3 plus alpha 3 1 minus 1 0 1. Similarly, I can write here. Now, I can define E 2 T of 0 1 0. So, that will be minus 1 3 1. So, this will be alpha 1 2 1 1 0 plus alpha 2 2 1 2 3 plus alpha 3 2 minus 1 0 1 and T of E 3 again it will be 1 minus half minus 2. So, alpha 1 3 the same alpha 2 3 plus alpha 3 3. Now, if I want to write this corresponding matrix. So, I want now my matrix I call this matrix as we represent by a which is a matrix with respect to the standard basis. So, I just uh, write this matrix as maybe C matrix. So, C matrix basically is what? It is alpha 1 1, alpha 2 1, alpha 3 1, alpha 1 2, alpha 1 3, 2 2, 2 3 and alpha 3 2, alpha 3 3. So, this is equal to basically if you see from here. Now, we are writing the image of the basis E 1 with respect to the coordinates with respect to the new basis. So, now I can write from here. So, this is if you see this is T of E 1 I am writing this with respect to the basis B 2 T of E 2 with respect to B 2 and T of E 3 with respect to B 2. So, this is my corresponding matrix C. 
Now, so for this one, so we need to solve this system. So the first system we have to solve. So this is the matrix made up of this basis. So if you see from here, I can write that 1, 1, 0. So now I have a matrix that is 1, 1, 0 made up of this uh, basis 1, 2, 3. and minus 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 1. So, this is my matrix base made up of basis element. Now, suppose I want to solve this first equation. So, let us solve this one. So, this equation I want to solve. So, it is I can write from here then this is alpha 1, 1, alpha 2, 1, alpha 3, 1 and that is equal to right hand side vector is 1 to 1. So, it is 1 to 1. Now, this matrix I know that this matrix is basis matrix. So, I call it B and it is made up of the basis B 2. So, it uh, obviously this is a matrix which is invertible and from here I can find out the value of alpha 1 1 alpha 2 1 alpha 3 1 by taking the inverse and then 1 2 1. So, now if you uh, solve this one now from here we can uh, solve this one. So, our value is coming alpha 1 1 is coming uh, 2 alpha 2 1 is coming 0 and alpha 3 1 is coming 1. So, this is the first vector. Now, the same way we can find solve the other system this one then the another system this one by the same way only thing is that we have to change this right hand side vector. So, the next one will be the same B this is the same B then I have to write alpha 1 2 alpha 2 2 alpha 2 3 and on the right hand side I will get the value minus 1 uh, 3 1. So, minus 1 3 1. So, this value we are going to get. So, if I solve from here then the value is coming alpha 1 2 is 6 alpha 2 2 is minus 3 by 2 and alpha 11 by alpha 2 3 is coming 11 by 2. So, this one you can solve yourself and similarly I can find out the another matrix another coordinates alpha 1 3 alpha 2 3 and alpha 3 3 putting on the right hand side 1 minus half minus 2 1 minus half minus 2 and that gives me alpha 1 3 is coming 0 alpha 2 3 is coming minus 1 by 4 and alpha 3 3 is coming minus 5 by 4. So, this way we are able to write this uh, all the solutions and from here I can write my matrix C. So, C will be 2, 0, 1 and then I can write 6 minus 3 by 2, 11 by 2, 0 minus 1 by 4, minus 5 by 4. So, this is my matrix C of the same linear transformation with respect to the new basis and that basis are B 1 and B 2. So, you can write from here that this is matrix is corresponding to the linear transformation T with respect to the basis B 1 and B 2. The same way I can write that this matrix whatever the matrix is there. So, this A can be, can be written as a matrix 
corresponding to the linear transition T with the basis standard basis. So, this is the matrix with the standard basis and this is the matrix with respect to the new basis that we have taken. So, this is the linear uh, the matrix corresponding to the linear transformation uh, with respect to the new basis. So, here you can see that the matrix here is completely different from the matrix here because this is the coordinate system of the T u 1 with respect to the new basis. So, that uh, is the relation between these two matrices. So, that we will discuss in the future that how one matrix is there then how we can find the another matrix. So, we will stop here uh, today now. So, in the today's lecture we have discussed about that how the coordinates of one vector can be written with respect to the basis uh, different basis and then we have shown that how we can write a linear transformation the matrix for a linear transformation corresponding to a new basis. So, in the next lecture we will continue with that one. So, thanks for watching uh, thanks very much. Thank you.